Let's go. The number one ranked team in the land, your BYU women's soccer team. Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. I'm Jeremy Jordan, joined by the past couple of defensive players of the week in the Big 12. And Olivia Smith-Griffiths got married to Kyle, former BYU football player. And Kendall Peterson. What's up, guys? How you doing? So good. good. How are you? I'm, I'm great. Um, how's life as number one? Are you used to it? It's week two now, Olivia. You're like, oh, yeah, we're number one. We keep winning. We keep this. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's obviously fun to get that recognition. So it's been awesome. Okay, and then a big game, obviously, tonight, Kendall, with TCU. The Big 12 era begins not just for soccer, for everybody. How are you guys feeling about the first one? We're so excited that we get to be the first Big 12 game ever. And we just are ready for Cougar Nation to show out and show the Big 12 what we're all about. Okay, there's been a, a long buildup to this, right? But also in women's soccer, just getting to the point where you could be the number one team. Two years ago, you guys are on the team and, and obviously run to the College Cup and the National Championship game. You get to the Sweet 16, you get over the hump of Stanford last year. Now this year, this team, and I, I said in the last segment, I felt like you guys have been prepared uniquely for this. Olivia, tell me sort of the process of the last couple of years of getting to this point where you guys are comfortable as the number one. You're not this big surprise. You were the unanimous number one. Um, I think the big thing that helped us realize we could get to this point is seeing Santa Clara win the national championship. Like, obviously, they're in our conference, and every time we played them, it was always a battle. So I think seeing them do it, we're like, hey, we can totally do this. We, we know have, you. You're on our <laughs> level. <laughs> we have the same talent, and we have the same drive to do it. And so I feel like that really helped us see that it's a possibility. How, how do you feel about it, Kendall? Because it's, it's been a buildup for you guys over yeah. a long time, too, the whole program existence, but for your class specifically. Yeah, I think that we've just been able to handle our losses really well and really just pick out what we need to improve on, and then we've been able to do it. So, Okay, as defenders, uh, when, you, when you get assists or you score goals, the league's like, oh, cool, let's give you an award. So uh, you guys have won these awards. What is, it, what is it meant to win an award? And specifically, you scored your first two goals at Utah, and uh, you got Defense Player of the Week. <laughs> um, yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, as a defender, we don't get that many chances to shoot or to score goals, and so it's always fun when we get to do something like that. And then beating Utah 6-1. That's awesome as well. <laughs> also awesome. And that's been a weird match at times up there, right? So what was it like to go up there and really, uh, really turn it on, Kendall? 6-1 is uh, quite the showing. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was just awesome. I think that... We had a really good mindset as a team going into this game, and we wanted to do what we hadn't done in the past years, and we just took it to them. Seven assists is third in the country right now for you. What is going so well to set up your team? Um, I think that we've done a good job just being creative in our offensive attack lately, and I don't know. I wouldn't have them if I don't have people finishing, so... I'm glad that we're scoring lots of goals this year. <laughs> and then you have uh, the distribution of goals is incredible. Like Erin Bailey is coming off the bench. She would start at most teams around the country, if not everybody. She has five goals, which is tied for the team lead. What is it about the depth of this group, Olivia, that's special? Um, I think it's amazing that we have these players coming off the bench. And Jen doesn't like to call them bench players. She calls them game changers. That's right. They really do come in and they bring that level of energy and um, the starters that go out, we wear out the team, and they can come in and add that boost of energy, and it's been awesome for us, and it's been the difference between games. Kendall, if you went the whole year with no goals, but you had like 15 assists, would that be okay with you? Totally. Because <laughs> it's going really well. You know, do you feel like you want, do you want to score a goal, or are you like, as long as I have assists, I'm good? I would love to score. I mean, I'm taking shots. We've seen it but... from distance. <laughs> yeah. But I'm totally happy assisting. Um, your husband's a good dude. I want to tell a story about this. <laughs> I, I, I bet you agree. One time I, I went do. to uh, a gas station, a, a Maverick, like on some weekday night. Maybe it was a Friday night. I can't remember. But he was there, and we talked for a minute. And I, he, he goes to the register. I'm grabbing whatever and leave. He had paid for me without <laughs> me knowing in front. He's a good dude. I like that's Kyle. That's how he is. He's that's how he is, right? And that's how he played uh, at BYU. What's it like uh, being married to Kyle and now having, uh, you know, Former athlete and current athlete thing going on. <laughs> it's the best. I mean, obviously, we were best friends for a long time, so it's so fun marrying your best friend. He says he had to work very hard <laughs> to, to get the chance to marry you. Did he work hard? He did. He was consistent. <laughs> Harder than when he played football? No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, what, how does the crowd help you? Like, how, do, how would you quantify that, Kendall? When you're playing at home, UCLA, you had 5,200 fans. Some of them are throwing water bottles at, at Aaron's head, as we've talked about on the show, which is funny. 
Um, how do they? How do you quantify that? Because BYU always has the best crowds in the country. Yeah, it just is electric once we get on the field. We can feel a difference in the energy just in our warm up. Everyone is, I think, sharper in our warm ups when we have more fans and more eyes on us. And it's been awesome because. I met some of the other Big 12 soccer players at a conference I went to this summer, and they had heard about our fans. Mm. And they're, they aren't playing this year at our field, but she was, like, s devastated that she didn't get to come and experience our fans. So it's just awesome. Yeah, and it'll be, it'll be special um, for the Big 12 to come in, for BYU fans to kind of showcase what it has. And that happened again with women's volleyball last night. Like, at, at what point, um, sort of maybe when you were recruited or whatnot, did sort of – what the home atmosphere is like and the exposure, obviously, on TV and whatnot. What, what role did that kind of play in your desire to play for BYU? Because it's one thing to play soccer. But if no one knows the soccer is happening, it's tough. But at BYU, it's unique. It's one of the best uh, kind of funded and, and seen teams in the country, Olivia. Um, I think that was a big part of, for me coming here. It's obviously, it's like it feels like a community. And it's so fun that people love it. And, yeah. How about you, Kendall? Yeah, for sure. It was a huge, it played a huge role in why I came here. But Jen is, Jen does a lot to get our fans out, and it's like her pride and joy. It's her baby. She's the only coach. I mean, she's been around forever. And at some point, we got to name Southfield Jennifer Rockwood Field. That's just me throwing that out there. <laughs> Whenever she's done in 5, 10, 20 years, whatever it is, we got to rename that field for Jen. That's just, that's all I'm saying. Um, okay, being being number one now and kind of getting everyone's best shot, do you feel that? Because certainly the crowds are showing up, like Utah, Utah Valley and Utah had massive <laughs> crowds, not only because it's a rivalry, but the number one team in the country is here. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like our team does really well under pressure, and I think we actually invite it, and we love it. It helps us play to that next level, and it helps us stay at the top of our game. Did 2021 and kind of that run, and then 22, and obviously always being ranked, but this is another level, right? What, how did that kind of aid the pursuit here of, of what you guys are going for, which is not merely to win the Big 12 and not merely to the College Cup, but to win the national championship? Yeah, I think we just met as a team and really prioritized what we wanted to accomplish this season. But we can't go to look too far in advance. And it started with our preseason, and we just went out and accomplished that goal. And so now we're on to the Big 12, and we're just ready to go. Uh, you guys can take it one game at a time. I take it two games at a time. Um, you're at Utah State. You guys play at three. Women's volleyball team plays that night. Are you guys staying to watch that one or are you coming home? I'm not sure. Hopefully you're staying to Hopefully watch. That'd staying. be fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> just support each other. Maybe women's volleyball come to your game and you swap. I don't know. Just throwing it out there, Heather and Jen. Uh, well, good luck tonight. All the BYU Sports Nation karma we could possibly muster <laughs> until Kyle Hillo for me. Will you? I will. <laughs>